Hi, it's Adrian, and I'm back uh, today with a couple of products that are new to me, and I think that we should go ahead and get started. Uh, one of the products that was very new to me is the e.l.f. Uh, bronzing Drops. I got mine in rose gold, and today I went ahead and mixed them with the Performer by About Face. I have this one in F2, again this one in rose gold, and so that's what I went ahead and did for my foundation today. I did um, also repurchase the Pretty Fresh uh, Concealer by ColourPop. I have mine in neutral tin, and uh, this one has hyaluronic acid. I really like how it feels on the under eyes. And I've repurchased, I can't remember how many times I've repurchased this. So, oh, I forgot one. Yeah. So um, I've been going ahead and mixing in one of my glow lotions. Uh, this one is the one by Lumi. So, yeah. I have on um, the Performer and F2, the e.l.f. Uh, Rose Gold Bronzing Drops, and I mixed in some of the Lumi Glow Lotion as well. With the, So this is what I have on my base. And I've been going ahead and mixing in either the Lumi Glow Lotion or the ColourPop uh, Liquid Lights into my base, and I'm finding that gives me just a little bit more glow, and I really like it. If you want to get the effect from Anastasia, their new stick um, foundation, but you don't necessarily know if you want to go ahead and purchase it, one way to do that is to go ahead and put a little bit of your highlighter into your foundation and see if you like the look of it, and then you'll get more fun idea on whether or not you'd like that product or not. And um, <clears throat> let's see, other than that, I did go ahead and use the e.l.f. Uh, liquid blush, and this one's a mop. And I went ahead and used the Heat Wave Sunrise Bronzer, and so I went really mauve as far as uh, the cheek look today. I did also pick up something that I've been wanting to pick up for a long time. It's a highlighter. Um, one of my favorite highlighters ever is Catrice uh, Supreme Rose Beam Highlighter, and I'm just getting to the end of it. So I've been trying to find a highlighter that would go ahead and replace that for me. And I've been wanting to pick up one of the Rare Beauty highlighters. This one is in Mesmerize. And so this is what I have on today. I think it worked out really well. Um, I'm loving the color. It's definitely a pink color. And so that's what I have on for my highlighter today. <clears throat> Excuse me, it's still getting over that cold. And um, as far as what I did on the lips, I went ahead and I grabbed one of the ColourPop um, lippy, well, yeah, this is one of their, uh, this one is actually one of their lip liners, so lippy pencil. And then the It's Complicated by Oma to go ahead and do that. And I added some of the, uh, let's see, Hard Candy Sun Kissed Gloss on the top. So that's what I have on the lips. And yeah, I went really deep today as far as um, all my face products because my eyes went really dark today. And if you do want to go ahead and get a plumping lip gloss, this one's really good. It's Sun Kissed, again, by Hard Candy. For the mascara, I went ahead and mixed two essences. This one is Call Me Queen and the Volume Stylist 18 Hour Wear. So I went, up, I went ahead and put on the Call Me Queen. And then this one has fibers in it. So I went ahead and put this one over the top to go ahead and just give me more length and more volume altogether. <clears throat> As far as what I use for an all-over face powder, I went ahead and used the Catrice Sungasm. And then I did get a palette that's new to me, um, but it's actually on sale over at Blend Bunny right now. And I really like, I love a challenge. And I didn't realize I was getting such a cool tone palette until it got here. So it didn't end up being as much of a challenge as I thought it was going to be, but it's absolutely beautiful. So Machina or Machina, 
I'm not sure exactly how to pronounce it. The artwork is so beautiful. Just love it. And like I said, when I got it, I didn't realize that it was going to be so cool toned, but it really is a cool tone palette. The only two that are really warm toned are these two shades right here. Everything else leans cool tone. I went ahead and used this whole row today. Um, I used this in my crease, this right above the crease, this on the outer corner, and then I did a combination of this color and this color uh, right here. Um, I did go ahead and use white from the bottom all the way up to here and then from here over to here. Um, with this one, the white one, it's a really good topper shade. So I was thinking maybe a little bit more right in here to just give it a little bit more glow. So there we go with it just having a little bit more. Um, this is really, really fine glitter. In fact, it doesn't even really feel like a glitter to me, but I can see the little particles, so I know that it is. And so, um, yeah, I'm really glad that I got this palette. Even though it's not a complete challenge to me, it's definitely a challenge. This is definitely a special shade of Jewel Chrome. And this one goes uh, blue to purple, and it may, yeah, it's definitely a blue to purple. And it's what I have right on the middle of the eye right there. It shows up really pretty. And like I said, I just, um, I wasn't expecting it to be this dark, but I'm just really... I'm really pleased that I got it, and I think Blend Bunny does an amazing formula, and like I said, I'm really, really glad I got it this way that the look turned out. Oh, and I used some of the deepest shade um, for the eyeliner as well. So I did go ahead and use uh, this shade down here for the eyeliner as well. And um, it's definitely a look that I think works really well. And um, it's deep, but it's not that purpley deep. It's blue deep. And so it, um, yeah, I think it, um, it works better on me than some of the purples do. And it's kind of difficult finding this range of colors. So I'm really, really happy that I went ahead and picked it up. And I'll be doing more videos with it. Um, I think that's about all that. Oh, well, I forgot to say that I use the e.l.f. Um, and this is their <clears throat> brow. Uh, and this one is actually in light brown. So I did go ahead and do a little deeper color uh, just because the eye color was so deep that I kind of wanted to balance it. And um, I think that's about all the video for today. I hope you've enjoyed it, and I hope you have a great day, and I'll see you later. Bye.